they snap together to create uh, you know a solid wall that, that you know the rain hits it and it goes down and it's so this isn't glass it, it's a it's a form of plastic and it has a micro texture in the front you can bang it around you can flex it um, you can't do that with regular panels and we'll connect these solar panels to each other and the wire because you, you can put more solar on the walls as opposed to the roof you can design homes with a smaller footprint and that really saves a lot for land pro land prices and construction costs making homes less expensive and helping solve the home housing affordability issues Rockwell Industries is a local business here in Ottawa, small startup. I've been working with them for a few years now, and we are bringing solar panels to the side of a house. It's building integrated, so uh, it replaces your siding. We also have some of Ottawa's best organizations here. My role is electrical and manufacturing integration. So that basically sums up as I cover up all the electrical schematics. I work on the design of things, how things are going to be upgraded, and also the main manufacturing side of things. Because this is what I made for the energy cube, um, where it has traditional siding, and you see how it joins with the solar siding, and so that there's no there's no gap between them, um, and they, they, they use very similar um, processes, where there's the siding product installed on top of furring boards, on top of the wall, uh, they use J molding around the edges. Um, it's a very similar process. And that's one of the biggest reasons why our product is far less expensive to install than the regular solar panels on the roof, where there's no special cladding or no special framework required. Um, and our main advantage is how we can install it around a window frame. You know, it, it's seamlessly integrated. We can make panels of different lengths. You know, most homes having a roughly 300 square foot area that might be devotable to, uh, to integrated wall uh, photovoltaic material like like the product we have um, that would produce about seven and a half kilowatts now that's per hour then you're you're talking about you have maybe to four and a half peak hours per day you know production so what that translates to essentially is how much energy does a home use in a day and and usually on the average, it's around 20 some kilowatts in a day. If you times, uh, let's say, seven and a half times four, that's 28 roughly. That's more than enough power in a day to power the home together. So when the sunlight hits them, it actually bounces electron from one layer to another layer. We do need to have more buildings out there that are more energy self-sufficient. And the building codes worldwide are actually changing to kind of say we have to go this way. And for a whole bunch of reasons. Um, and it just makes economic sense for Through my uh, education with uh, business management and civil engineering, I've figured out that uh, there's a lot of ways that the homes could be and buildings could be built better, uh, more efficient, better energy sources as well. Um, so it's just really tying that all together and that can be done with design. So it starts from new builds as well as retrofits too. So uh, no matter what building or how old it is, it could, it could be doing better and it could be having better energy savings. And it, it comes down to money too for the homeowners, for the building owners. They can see real savings from, from some of these projects. It's important to me because like, if we don't take care of the environment, there won't be an environment to take care of. So this is at least my way of trying to help with that and kind of get everybody to jump on board and help out.